Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Kansas City, Missouri. We're at the Sprint Center here on this beautiful Sunday for today's matchup between the London Bulldogs and the Kansas City Monks. I'm Raymond Sims here on the call, our final game of week three, the final intra-conference week before we head into four straight weeks of inter-conference action. And both of these teams wanting to set a tone heading into that portion of the schedule. London comes in winless at 0-2. They're the only winless team in the Coliseum Basketball Association. Kansas City, on the other hand, is at 500. And the last time they were here in this building, they took a 17-point shellacking to the now undefeated Lehigh Valley Jets. So they will look to go into the interconference schedule above 500. Samuel D'Alembert, Joel Freeland tipping off, and London winning the tip. And we are underway from Kansas City. Glad that you could join us here on the Coliseum Sports Network. Chandler Parsons gets the start today at shooting guard. We've been playing sh starting shooting guard by committee. In week one, it was Giannis Andetokounmpo who will be coming off the bench today. Kalina Azabuki had the call in week two. And week three, it's Chandler Parsons who has rarely, if ever, played at the shooting guard position. D'Alembert gets the open backdoor cut for the jam. And that's how we'll start things off here in Kansas City with the Monks on the board first. Two nothing early on. 11-17 left in the first. Here's Eric Bledsoe getting things started for London, their second offensive possession. Here's Luol Deng inside, hands it off. Joel Freeland, Brit to Brit, going in and tying the game up at two. Last time we did see Kansas City, even though the last time they were here, they lost. The last time we saw them, they won. They were up the road in Omaha, and they got a huge 119-117 win that went down to the final seconds. It was a great game to watch, and a lot of great performances came out of that matchup. Should be fun to see once we get that game here in Kansas City on the back end of this 10-game season. Monte Ellis knocking down the jumper 4-2, to 10 and a half remaining in the first. Dang with the ball on the wing. Now down low to Freeland. Moving back out to the perimeter. Up top, Bledsoe will pull up inside the three-point line, and that's good. Exactly 10 minutes to go, and the game is tied at four. Johnson pulls up, missing, rebound Garnett. He'll go up and recover. 6-4 lead. Ball to Dang, and he'll knock it down. Looking to get on the board on offense here a lot sooner. He's been uh, particularly quiet offensively this season was scoreless in game one but that was a blowout but in the two-point loss to Lehigh Valley he had seven and here he is getting a rebound he had four of those last week he had three in week one and he goes up and draws the foul so Luol Deng and that's definitely one of the keys to the game here for London and head coach Stuart Gibbs is to get Luol Deng, who's supposed to be the face of Great Britain basketball, get him involved in the game as quickly as possible. So they're doing just that here. Deng at the line. First shot up and in. Three of four from the field. He's essentially tasked with chasing DeMar DeRozan and Gerald Green and Terrence Ross all over the floor in that close loss to Lehigh Valley. And Dang able to convert both free throws. He only took one last week. And he 
made two this week, so he has yet to miss a free throw here in CBL history. But there's a number of players in the league that hold that distinction. Johnson works his way inside and scores, makes it eight all with 8.30 left in the first. Ooh, pass intended for Freeland and it sails way over his head. Bledsoe, well, you've had to take, you'll have to take the good and the bad with him. 17 points and six assists last week, but he also had four turnovers. And he starts off here in the first quarter with one egregious one. Here's Monte Ellis working around. Joe Johnson for three. Missed. Long rebound corralled by Evans. But then he tries to get the pass to D'Alembert. And all of that's for naught as that goes out of bounds. Seems to be deflected on the Bulldogs. So Kansas City will actually keep it. D'Alembert set to inbound. Finds Ellis way out on the perimeter. Kicks it out to Evans, and his foot was on the line. So Tyreek Evans doing everything he can to turn over the ball, and that will go to London. I'm sure it wasn't intentional, but Tyreek Evans definitely going to have to be a lot more careful. Here's Bledsoe up top. Down low to Miritich. Mirtic blocked by Garnett. Ellis tries to get it to Johnson. Stolen away by Bledsoe. Bledsoe on the run and he finishes with the one-handed jam. Got a huge vertical out of that one. How high? 43.2 inches. Great takeoff by Eric Bledsoe gives LDN the 10-8 lead with 7-21 left in the first. Tyreek Evans open lane and that will go away quickly as he ties the game at 10. His Bledsoe spin move up top, Miritich for three. And that one sinks in smoothly, Miritich Ended up with a double-double last week. 24 points, 10 rebounds. Definitely a huge game for him as he's done well at the starting power forward position. Ellis missing, and there's Miritich for the board. He'll get it to Ch Chandler Parsons. Parsons brings it up the floor. He's truthfully struggled. And Stuart Gibbs trying to find a place for him on this roster. Ellis tries to get the pass off, stolen by Bledsoe. London will go into their half-court offense. Even though Bledsoe was definitely trying to get things going, he'll get it to Freeland, and that will be a goaltending as opposed to a foul. Samuel D'Alembert getting his hand in the cookie jar. Bernard James. Military veteran turned NBA player into the game for London. Down low, Melvin Eli drawing the foul on Luol Deng. Two shots. 2002 draft pick out of Fresno State. Melvin Eli at the line. Eli's been... Coming in, providing a presence more than anything. His stat lines aren't really anything to write home about. He had six rebounds in week one, had four points in week two. Really, it's just about being around to create disruption for the opponent so that they don't just glide into the lane so easily. 15 to 11. London holding on to a four-point lead halfway through the first quarter. Ball up top, Miritich gets past his defender, but missing. 
And the rebound by Eli. A hit to Evans. Evans works his way back out to the perimeter in the corner. Johnson, that would have probably been a two, but it's a miss. Ball ahead to Parsons, over to Dang. Tries to float it up, slapped away by Joe Johnson. So on one end, he misses, but then he recovers on defense. If I don't score, you don't score either. Giannis Andetokounmpo comes into the game. That moves Parsons back to the four spot, and instead, Stewart's Gibbs is going to call a timeout. But his team is leading 15 to 11 with 521 left in the first quarter. Beautiful Sunday here in Kansas City. Final game of week three. If you missed any of the other three, and they've been pretty interesting ones, be sure to check out the Coliseum Basketball League 2015 playlist, which can be found on the Coliseum Sports Network YouTube channel. Ball inbounded to Andetokounmpo. Trying to work his way baseline. Ooh, Evans wasn't having it. Great defense there. Bledsoe trying to get back past Ellis now. Gets it over, but falls into the hands of Ellis off the miss. Pass ahead to Johnson, and he blows the layup. Here's Andetokounmpo. That goes to Dang, and he'll lay it in. So it's a six-point lead. Ellis with the ball. Cross-court pass, works it around to Johnson, and he'll knock that one down. Long two in the corner. Four-point game. Gets it down low to Dang, and he'll score. Six-point game. 4.07 remaining here in the first quarter. London ahead 19 to 13. A little over four minutes here, and now we have reached the four-minute mark. beasley has been in the game for a while, but we haven't seen him put up anything yet. Can't get it on the roll, but he'll get it out to Johnson, and he knocks down another long two. Excited fans here at the Sprint Center. London running a quick set here. Parsons holding on to the ball. Not much out of him yet. Parsons goes up and lays it in. There's Chandler. And he's able to get the Bulldogs. Their 11th and 12th points in the paint. So 21-15 lead here for London with 316 left in the first quarter. Bulldogs trying to get their first win of the season. Dante Exum and Dennis Schroeder will come into the first into the game for the first time today. Brandon Rush will come into the game for the first time this season. Looking to inbound, he'll find Melvin Eli. Ball here to Trey Burke. First around to Beasley. Not goes up, missed rebound by James. Here's Schroeder ahead to Andetokounmpo. He'll lay it up, no good. Rebound by Exum down low, and he'll get the shot and draw the foul. Trey Burks first. Here's Exum at the line for the first time today. He can get a quick three. If he can hit the, his free throws. Started off the season. One of the lone bright spots in that Blowout to Omaha, 17.6 rebounds in a losing effort. But then when his role was muted against Lehigh Valley, he only came out with six points and three assists in 13 minutes of play. He got that 17 and six in 22 minutes. So Exum can get it going if he's given the space. Beasley for three, 
And he'll knock down the three. 24-18 with two and a half left in the first. There's Michael Beasley. Exum driving inside. Thought he had an open lane and swatted away by Jeremy Tyler. Here's Burke, and that's blocked. Saved and deflected off of Trey Burke, so that will stay with London. Great hustle there by Dennis Schroeder. Ball to Undead Akumbo. He'll go up, and I think that was slapped down by Eli as he was going up. But it's still deflected off of Giannis and then just bounced its way out of bounds. Everybody just let it go. So 24 to 18, 202 left here in the first. A lot of odd bounces on both sides. And Trey Burke will get the ball in the backcourt. Ball down low. There's Jeremy Tyler throwing it down. 24-20 with 140 left in the first. Sprint Center fans getting a little more excited now. Looks like London got out in control. Giannis passes out of a shot. Exum caught up against Beasley, still shoots over him and misses Tyler with the board. Work ahead to Beasley. Here's Burke, double team, finds Beasley wide open mid-range. He's going to knock that one down. So Kansas City within two with exactly a minute left in the first. Both teams about dead even now. Bulldogs only taking one fewer shot, but that could change. If they miss, both teams will be 10 of 20. Ugh, not a strong pass there, that one. Pretty much rolled to Exum, but he couldn't collect it, and that goes out of bounds with 41.2 seconds left on the clock. Here's the ball to Burke. Beasley hanging on, waiting for the play to unfold. Finds Burke again, and he's able to knock down the long two. So Kansas City on a run, and they tie it up at 24, heading to the quarter break. One more play here for the Bulldogs. Pass to Parsons. Parsons trying to work his way inside. Goes up, missing. Rebound by Beasley, and there's your quarter. So tightly contested one, London got out to a quick lead, but Kansas City second unit able to knock things up. Heading into the second frame here on the Coliseum Sports Network. Twenty-four all here from the Sprint Center, last game of the week. Glad that you could join us for it on this beautiful Sunday. Kevin Garnett ready to get going here. Ready for this quarter to start, and here come the monks. And there's Garnett hanging out there on the corner. Don't know if he has a corner three in him. Here's Beasley going to work against Antetokounmpo. Misses, goes back up, and the shooting foul on Antetokounmpo. That's his first. So that'll send Michael Beasley to the line to shoot a couple. Washington, D.C. area native, but he played his collegiate ball about a couple of hours away from here in a different kind of much... Smaller Manhattan, the Little Apple, if you will. Playing at Kansas State. 
nine points and almost and pretty much nothing more for Beasley in week one. Ten rebounds or ten points, three rebounds, and two assists, and even a block for good measure in week two in that win over Omaha. And he was able to get both, so 26-24. Here's Exum driving the lane. Goes up against Brandon Rush. And Exum gets the shot and he'll have the chance to add on one more. Exum from Australia. So he's not British, but he's from a British colony, former British colony rather, part of the Commonwealth. So there's a little connection there. Accents just a little different. Able to finish off the and one opportunity, 27 to 26. 11, 16 left in the second. Ball to Beasley. Fakes it, drives baseline, and able to finish. Kansas City gets the lead back thanks to Michael Beasley. And at the 11 minute mark, the Monks are ahead by one. Schroeder trying to find a way inside. Loses his dribble. Has to kick it back out to Parsons. Goes up against Garnett. And he can't get the shot down, but he will go to the line for two. Chandler Parsons has been looking for a place here in the or Stuart Gibbs has been looking for a place for Chandler Parsons in this lineup, considering the resurgence of Nikola Miritich at the starting power forward position. That kind of displaced Parsons. And then on the bench, you have Andetta Kumbo, who's supposed to be the do-it-all guy, able to play the two, the three, or the four. So the question was, where's Parsons going to go? And Gibbs doesn't regret signing Parsons. Likes a lot of his versatile skills, and he also joked in his cheeky British humor. I had to sign him. He looks a lot like a footballer, or like a soccer player, as we call him in America. 29-28. Rebound by D'Alembert, and he's not able to get the second chance opportunity. Miritich got steamrolled there by Kevin Garnett on the foul away from the ball. That's Garnett's second. Speaking of the footballer Parsons, he'll go out for... The Greek freak Giannis. One point game here, London leading. Looking to extend the lead. Ten and a half left in the first half. Mirtic goes up and misses. And then another loose ball foul here as Burke finds himself on the ground. That's Joel Freeland. All for the first personal foul. For his pers personal foul. Tyreek Evans comes into the game, back at small forward. 10-14 left in the second quarter. Oh, crosses up on Dedek Kumbo and finishes it off. Tyreek Evans with the fancy footwork. He got all 6'11 of Giannis to tumble to the ground. And finishes it off with a nice jumper to give Kansas City the lead. Miritich turns, goes up, misses, gets his own board, and then when he gets a little too ahead of himself. Shoots it from behind the basket, and that is out of bounds. So almost instantly Parsons coming into the game, coming back in. Game still close here. Kansas City up by one. Here's Evans. Goes baseline and able to finger roll it in. Three point lead. 9 12 remaining in the second. Here's Schroeder inside to the corner. Giannis, long two is good. Mm -hmm. 
Past the nine minute mark here in the second quarter. Waiting for the play to develop. I'm not sure what was supposed to happen, but Brandon Rush finds the ball in his hand and he answers the call and knocks down the three. Of the two Kansas City natives on the roster, there's Alec Burks and Brandon Rush. That was the first point scored by a Kansas City native. So a special reason for the Sprint Center crowd to get excited. And Kansas City has the opportunity to add on more. Alec Burks in two games went scoreless in the time allotted to him. He's still on the active roster, so we could see him today. But Brandon Rush is the guy to come out in his uh, position instead of Burks. Shot missed. And off the carom into the hands of Freeland. Parsons with the ball. Gets it underneath to Miritich. He goes up, draws the foul, and one. So here's Miritich at the line, the native of Montenegro. He plays internationally for Spain. Got into a bit of hot water after Spain, who's struggling in the Eurobasket tournament, lost. Heading into the locker room, someone dipped a Serbian flag in front of the path to the, lock, the Spanish locker room. And Miritich on his way out, frustrated, ended up ripping down the flag. So he caught some heat, the Serbian uh, ripping the Serbian flag, but he apologized for it. Stating he didn't know that's what it was. Caught in a moment of frustration. But you gotta be careful with that. Even after things emo as emotional as a loss. 35-34, Kansas City leading. Parsons inside. Shoots that over Evans, and there's the miss. Rebound by Evans. Tyreek Evans, stuff in the stat sheet early on. Six points, four rebounds, and almost had another assist to add on to it, but Rush missing. Here comes London the other way. Parsons bringing it up the floor, gets it to Giannis. Baseline jumper's good. And timeout called. By Kansas City, down by one, 646 left in the second quarter. Last game of interconference play before we head into four weeks of interconference play before we get back and play the second half of the home and home in the 10 game schedule between conference rivals. And out of the timeout, Trey Burke scoring puts Kansas City up by one with 635 left in the second quarter. Schroeder, open lane inside. Don't think so. There's Dallin Bear for the block. Ball ahead to Rush, and he's able to finish off. Five points for Brandon Rush. Thirty-nine, thirty-six. Schroeder trying to cut inside. Works around, Schroeder will go for three instead. And that won't work out. Burke in the corner. Pulls up baseline. No good. Rebound by Ondetokounmpo. In the corner, Parsons. Schroeder beats the shot clock buzzer. Knocks down the three and ties it at 39. Okay. 
Evans kicks it out. Burke goes for three, missing. Rebound by Garnett. And they'll reset the offense here. Fresh clock to work with. Evans will drive inside. And he can't pull it off. Rebound by the Bulldogs. Here's Schroeder in the lane, and he's able to sail in. He knifed through the defense. They weren't even set up yet, and he goes right on through. London takes the two-point lead, and Shre Schroeder, all five of his points, putting London ahead for this moment. Oh, but Evans gets past Schroeder, goes inside, and draws the foul. So that's Freeland's second. And Tyreek Evans going to head to the line with his team down by two. Tyreek Evans was pretty much non-existent there in week one for Lehigh Valley having to take on Kobe Bryant, who wasn't himself either. Tyreek Evans had only two points and four assists on one of eight shooting. But Kobe had eight points, even though he picked up a lot, a lot of rebounds and assists. So they kind of canceled each other out with Evans getting the, the bigger brunt of that. Didn't really get going in there until week two. 16 points, 11 assists. And he's able to tie things up at 41 at the line. 420 left in the second. Here comes London, looking to get the lead back. Bledsoe's back in the game. Works out to the perimeter. And too much dribbling stolen by Evans, and here he is looking to add on two more. He'll lay it up and in. Kansas City able to take the lead back. Schroeder top of the key, works it over to Parsons. Back to Schroeder. And a reach-in foul, that is on Jeremy Tyler. It is his first. So Schroeder will go to the line here. He's been pretty consistent with, with his minutes, but Stewart Gibbs hinting at the fact that he's going to try to get Dennis a little more. Really likes his style of play. He has six points, four assists, and three rebounds. And that lost to Lehigh Valley last week. Stuart Gibbs says he absolutely wants to get the German point guard more involved in the offense. Right now, Stuart Gibbs kind of in a weird place where he's shuffling a lot of cards, trying to make things work, and nothing's come up yet, which is particularly rough when it seems as if the rest of the Eastern Conference has it figured out when you look at the types of wins that they've been able to pick up. Dang hanging onto the ball on the wing, works it out to Bledsoe. Goes back inside, shoots over Evans and can't finish it off. Evans couldn't collect the rebound, gets it ahead to Ellis. I guess they might have still credited him with the board, but he had to save it and get it to Monte. Three-pointer good by Joe Johnson. 2.44 left in the second quarter. Here's Bledsoe. Kicks it over Dang. Gets it over Schroeder. And that won't go. Rebound by Eli. Long two by Evans. No good. Tyler sails in for the rebound. Misses the layup. Here comes London. Can cut down the lead. Cut down the deficit. Schroeder for three. Brings London within one. Nine points and an assist for Dennis Schroeder. Get 
Monte up top, knocks it down, 48-45. 90 seconds left here in the second quarter. It's been a tight one so far here in Kansas City. Dang kicks it out, Miritich. Gets it back to Dang. Up top, Miritich. Oh, that high arc doesn't go. James tries to put it back up, and he'll draw the foul. That's on Melvin Eli. Stuart Gibbs kind of chuckled that with all the, the shuffling that he's doing with most of the lineup, the only two places that he's, he feels he has figured out really are the point guard position to an extent, but especially the center position. You got Joel Freeland representing the UK. As he's in there, and his backup is Bernard James. And Stuart Gibbs is happy with that. Maybe wishing that his guys would get a little more aggressive on the boards. But he feels that both Bernard and Joel are more than happy to get involved when crashing the boards more often. Burke missing the reverse layup. Here comes London the other way. Dante Exum gets it to James. Cross court pass, dang. Down low, James shoots it on the baseline and in. There's Ellis missing, and the rebound by London. Behind the back pass by Bledsoe. It looked good, but wasn't able to connect. And there's another turnover for London. 26.2 seconds left here in the first half. And the Monks can set the tone heading into the third. Burke spin move, loses it. We'll try again here. Shoots this one baseline and it goes in 50 to 47. 12.2 left here in the second quarter. Final seconds. Three pointer could tie this up at 50. And probably should have heeded that advice. James has his shot blocked. And that is how we will end this first half of play. It's been a tight one. But Kansas City pulling out the slight advantage, 50 to 47. Final game of week three here in the Coliseum Basketball League. Glad you could join us from the Sprint Center in Kansas City, Missouri, as the hometown Monks lead 50 to 47, looking for their first home win of the season. They'll start off the third quarter with possession, and here's Monte Ellis. In the corner, Johnson, three-pointer, in and out. Rebound by Freeland. Here's Parsons. And he's able to pick up the foul. That's a reach-in by Ellis, his first. Next up for both teams, London will go back home this coming Friday to host the Mexico City Guerreros. And they'll turn the ball over. So since Kansas City is getting the ball, their next game will be this coming Saturday, hosting the Alaska Glacier Bears, who gave up 91 in a 20-point loss yesterday to Mexico City. As interconference play gets underway, and we'll have those four weeks before we get back to interconference action. Tyreek Evans knocking down the tray. It's first of the game, 53-47 in favor of Kansas City. They're going to look to pull away here. Really wanting to head into the interconference schedule above 500. Miritich arcs up the three and knocks that one down. And that'll cut the deficit in half. Hasn't been a good game for him from the field. 
But he is doing pretty efficiently, still 9.5 rebounds. I guess if you're shooting 3 for 10, that wouldn't be efficient. Tyreek Evans strikes again. He's doing efficiently. 15 points on 6 of 10 shooting. Hard for a coach to ask for more than 15 points on 10 shots. Ball down low. Freeland gets it blocked. And now Kansas City going to look to extend the lead up 5. Ellis double teamed. Bailed out by Garnett. Works it over Johnson. Wing 3 is good. Oh, Kansas City is hot right now. Looking to get things going here in the third quarter. Eight to three run. Two minutes into the third. Parsons gets it to Miritich. Finds him on the back door cut with under 10 here in the third. So Miritich trying to hold the fort here. But Kansas City's off to a hot start. Ellis puts that one up, misses the long two. Here comes Parsons baseline, Bledsoe mid-range, nothing doing. Ball to Ellis. Johnson goes inside, lays it up, and the block collected by London. Great defense. Believe that block was on Freeland. Here's Bledsoe up top. Works it around to Miritich. You know Miritich is itch itching to get the shots up. But he ends up losing the ball and it'll go out of bounds. In a bit of a slump today. But you know, as with batters in baseball sometimes shooters just like to keep shooting until things go good again kansas city crosses the timeline calls timeout they are ahead plus six with 853 left in the third if london's able to come back and tie this game up, or able to come back and get the win. They still will probably find themselves in last place in the Eastern Conference because outside of the winning percentage, your standing is also determined by point differential. And due to that 40 point shellacking they took in Omaha as London calls timeout, and we'll just stay here so I can finish the thought. Due to that 40 point shellacking that Omaha gave London in Omaha in week one. London's point differential coming into this game is minus 42. So that's something that's hard to make up. And London, if they were to win, would be one and two tied with the Omaha Racers, the team that beat them. Luol Deng, long shot, no good. Rebound by Ellis. Eight-point lead here for Kansas City, and they're really looking to pile on here so they can comfortably cruise to the victory. Here's Johnson driving. Shoots over Parsons and misses. A loose ball foul that left Miritich on the floor. I think that's the second one for Garnett. His second loose ball foul. It's his third personal. And London gets the ball back down by eight with 8.09 left in the third quarter. Here's Dang. We'll give it down to Freeland. Facing up D'Alembert. Back outside, Miritich. Won't take the shot. But he'll take it baseline. And he'll miss. Rebound by Evans. Here comes Kansas City. Looking to extend that lead. Won't do it there. The block by Parsons on the floater. Here's Dang working inside. Turnaround jumper. Good.
That's 10 points for Luol Deng. And that is his career, his season high here in the CBL. His career high is much higher. Probably in the 20 plus range. Shot missed by Dallenbear. Bledzo at the point. And overthrew the pass intended for Miritich with 650 left in the third. So Eric Bledso matching his turnover total from last week. He now has four. As he did in the loss to Lehigh Valley. Three-pointer Beasley, and there's an air ball. And I don't think Miritich got to that in time. That might have just been a legit air ball. In the corner, Exum, he'll try to attack. Turnaround jumper, sinks it over Ellis. Four-point game here. London trying to get back into the game. They do not want to head into week four without a win. London, oddly enough, holds the largest lead. They've been down by quite a bit here. Pass intended for Ellis, and he can't collect. He goes out of bounds. Instant turnover. So the second team in for Kansas City. Miritich lets it go. And this is just not his game through two and a half quarters. Beasley goes in and draws the foul on Miritich. Even though the shooting's not there for Nikola, at least he's stayed out of foul trouble, only collecting his first. First shot goes in. Parsons coming into the game. Second shot just as good. Six point game in favor of Kansas City. Exum driving inside, and he'll draw the foul. It's Jeremy Tyler's second. First shot goes in for Dante. Second shot missed. Here comes Kansas City. Ellis rejected by Dang. Dang tries to hand it off to Exum. He'll take it himself instead, and he'll come up empty. Here comes Kansas City again. Eurostep layup, good by Monte, and he'll draw the foul. It's the first on Parsons. And as Ellis heads to the line, here's Joe Johnson stepping back into the game with 5.20 left in the third quarter. Sixty-five fifty-seven, five twenty 5.20 left in the third. J 
Chandler Parsons tries to go for it. He's blocked. It's been a block party here in Kansas City. As Bledsoe draws the foul and one. And he knocks down the accompanying shot. So it's back to a five point margin with a little over five minutes left here in the third quarter. Burke launches the three. No good, rebound by James. Pushes it ahead to Dang. Tries to get it underneath to Bledsoe, bad idea. Here comes Kansas City, looking to extend the lead now. Floater, that's rejected. Karam's off the backboard, and after a couple of extra chances, Kansas City still able to get the two points they came for. Four and a half left in the third. He's Bledsoe, works it over to Exum, back up top again. In the corner, Parsons pulls up, baseline, no good. Yanked down by Burke. Now he's trying to push the tempo, and he's stopped by Bledsoe. Works it to Eli, who gets it to Burke, and the triangle completed. Now here's Beasley. Kansas City can't find their way into the post. That's the problem, and they'll have to shoot it from outside of it anyways. Ellis has had a rough game, and Dang gliding in, drawing the foul. That's on Joe Johnson. London's in the bonus with 3.44 left in the third. That's Johnson's second. And Dang going to the line. He's been a lot more aggressive today. But some not so great performances from the usual suspects. Monte Ellis struggling. I think Ramirez is struggling. And I think it really comes down to the defense of the guys that defend them. Your Kevin Garnett's. Doing a great job on Miritich. And then Chandler Parsons, who's usually not a shooting guard. His presence has still made a difference there. As Dang's able to get the free throw. 67-61. 3.39 left in the third quarter. There's Garnett. Up top, Ellis. Works it around. Ellis trying to find his way inside. Finds his way inside, and he'll take off and lay it in. He just wanted to step in that orange paint. That was the most important thing to him, and once he got in, he felt he couldn't be stopped. Stolen by Kansas City. Here come the Monks. Ellis gets it. Can't finish off the catch and shoot opportunity. Hands it off to Dang. Now it's Exum's turn. Not the best spacing on that instance. Here's Bledsoe inside. Hands it off underneath. Bernard James converting. No one has the inside track on the inside scoring yet. Here's a steal by Exum on the fast break, and he's able to take off and throw it down. 11 points for the combo guard from Australia. Here's Evans. Sling shots it, misses. Garnett denied. Picked up by Johnson.
Ellis trying to work around two Bulldogs defenders. Strong double team that forces it out of his hands. Here's Evans, gets it down low, stolen by London. Still a four point game. Exum ahead to dang, reverse layup is good. One eleven left in the third quarter. Evans passes out of the post, gets it to Garnett, and he finishes off on the elbow. So all's well that ends well. I found it peculiar that Tyreek passed up the shot, but in the end, Garnett able to get the two points instead. So a nice assist there for Tyreek Evans. Exum inside, kicks it over to Bledsoe. He'll get it to Parsons down low. James goes for it and he'll miss. Kansas City on the run ahead to Evans. Lays it up and in back to a six point game. Tyreek Evans, 19 points on the evening. Here's Exum. And Jeremy Tyler tries to come around and steal it, and he's called for the reach-in foul. That's his third. London has been in the bonus for the past three minutes, so Exum automatically goes to the line. First one goes in, cuts the deficit to five. Here's Exum, 73-69. Final seconds of the third quarter. Kansas City's lead has been fairly comfortable despite some attempts by London to go on major runs. Shot clock is off after the miss. Johnson in the corner and missed. Rebound by Dang. Final seconds, can he get it off in time? Pulls up, three-pointer, no good. That would have been a huge momentum shifter, but alas, heading into the fourth quarter, home standing Kansas City Monks ahead 73-69. This is CBL Basketball on the Coliseum Sports Network. Final game of week three here in the CBL. The next game up to kick off week four. This coming Thursday, we'll see the Las Vegas Silver Stars in Allentown to take on the Lehigh Valley Jets. As we get interconference play underway, Lehigh Valley, the only undefeated team in the league, will be put to the test against the Silver Stars. London misses on their first offensive possession of the fourth quarter. Kansas City on the run. Euro step layup denied. But that will be considered a foul. So Dang is called for his second infraction of the game. Joe Johnson going to the line here. Man out of Arkansas, a veteran, been playing since 2001. Seems like ages ago he started off with the Boston Celtics. But he's been a major player on any team he's played on. Big body with a sweet shooting touch. He's had 21 points in each of his last two weeks. And he shot very well. Came into this game shooting 54.5% from the field. Went 5 of 10 from outside in week 1. Only went 1 of 2 in week 2. But still, that leads to a 50% shooting percentage from outside. So a sweet stroke from Joe Johnson. And his team is leading 75-69 with 11.30 remaining in the fourth. Miritich gets it down low. Freeland finishes for the jam. Great cut there by Freeland, able to get open. And able to beat out Dallenbear. Bear. 
Long two by Burke. Sunk in and is back to six. Always seems like London has gotten as close as about four. And then there's a Monk on the other end who's able to hit a shot that kind of stems the flow, so to speak. And Dang goes up, gets the shot and the foul. So maybe they can get past that four point barrier and get to within three. The starting lineup from week two, or from week one already in the game for London. And the starting lineup for Kansas City, which has held consistent throughout the season so far, is back on the floor for the Monks. 77, 74, 10 and a half left in the fourth quarter. Here's Evans, gets the pick, but can't get inside. Kicks it out, Monte knocking down the three and doubling the lead back to six. So just like that, London right back where they started. Here's Dang driving inside. Kicks it back out, Bledsoe, his turn to attack. He'll get it back to Dang. Cross court pass, Miritich long two, and he's still struggling. Ahead to Monte. London has numbers. Evans on the secondary break. Works it to the other side to D'Alembert who will draw the foul. D'Alembert has been an asset under the rim for Kansas City. Averaging eight and a half points and getting seven rebounds in each of his two games as the starting center. 81-74, 10 minutes even left here in the fourth quarter. Shots good, 82-74, Kansas City leading by eight. Looking to pull away here against London. Here's Miritich, puts up the three. Still not going for him. Though chances are, with London wanting to get back into this game, that they might have to put up more. So you might be seeing more out of Miritich, and it may get worse before it gets better for him. Here's Evans. Stopped in his tracks by Giannis. Ellis goes up, and the floater's good. 10-point lead here for Kansas City. And timeout call here, 9-17 left in the fourth quarter. Bledsoe gets the inbound for London. Dang at the point. Tries to work inside. Here's Miritich. Shoots it from the elbow. No good. Double team of Evans. And we're going to have a jump ball here. So at center court, it's Tyreek Evans and Nikola Miritich. And Miritich wins the tip. So London comes up with the ball down by 10. Eight and a half left in the fourth quarter. Tries to get the ball down low to Dang. He does. There was a lot of traffic there. But able to get the backdoor cut to Miritich. 
So it works out for London there on that possession. And they're able to close the gap to eight. A little show press. But Evans able to cross the front court. He almost was able to attack the basket completely. But he'll leave the job to Joe Johnson, who will knock down the long two. Puts Kansas City back up by 10. That's 16 points for Joe Johnson. So still right on schedule with his scoring. Five more, and he'll let match the totals he's picked up in his last two games. Miritich was late coming off of that cut. And he tried to collect the ball, but he bumbled it and ended up out of bounds by the time he was able to corral it. Ball inbound to Ellis. Into the front court. Has an opportunity, and he's able to get it inside, 88 to 76. Rough first half for Monte. Things are really starting to turn around here in the late going. Here's Miritich driving inside. And he'll draw the foul. It'll be Dallin Bear second. And that shot's up and good. Cuts the deficit back down to 11. Second shot, no good. So it's an 11 point game here, Kansas City leading. And they can get their largest lead of the game on this possession. Ball down low to Ellis. Pass usually reserved for the big man. Ellis goes to work, but it doesn't work out that time. Here's Bledsoe on the elbow. Looking for the play to develop. It'll get it down to Dang on the block. Dang goes to work. Forces it up and gets it in. 88 to 79, 640 left in the fourth. Full court press here for London. Ellis gets it into the front court. And Bernard Slaughter will call timeout. Six and a half. Left in the fourth quarter, Kansas City ahead 88 to 79. Here's Dallin Berry inbounding. Get it to Evans. Tried to double team it. Tried to double team Evans. And he turns the ball over. 19 points, 12 assists. So Tyreek Evans still having a whale of a game. And it's still not even over. Still plenty of time to add on to that total. Here comes Bledsoe laying it in. Evans with the inbound, three turnovers. Can London force a fourth? Nope, at least not on that pass. Kansas City and Horns gets it to Garnett. He's double teamed, shoots this one outside the post. Missed by D'Alembert, he'll go back up. Miss and Garnett finishes the job on the third chance opportunity. Garnett missed the first shot, D'Alembert cleaned up for him. Goes up for a second shot, misses. Garnett comes back around and cleans up for D'Alembert. That was offensive boardception. Or a never ending cycle, one of those. Ball down low to Freeland. He'll miss. Rebound by D'Alembert. Here comes Evans up the floor. Pulls up. Elbow jumper, no good. Rebound by Dang. Oh 
Nine point game. Five minutes left in the fourth. And a three pointer clanks for Miritich. He's definitely going to want to look at the tape to figure out what went wrong. D'Alembert. Oh, he shows some range. Baseline near the short corner. Knocks it down. And that will give Kansas City an 11 point lead 92 81. Ball out to Parsons for three, and he sinks it. Eight point game. And another rough one for Chandler. Two of seven from the field. Only one three pointer goes up. Gets that ahead. Garnett just hanging on to the ball here as Kansas City wants to run out the clock. Ooh, Ellis. Gets the step on Bledsoe and attacks the basket. Kansas City ahead by 10. That's 14 second half points for Monte. I honestly thought at the half, this just, it just wasn't going to be his game. And alas, here he is picking up that point total where he left off. It's like he never left. 31 in that game against Lehigh Valley, 23 or 23 in the loss to Lehigh Valley, uh, 31 in their last game. Shot clock violation, great defense by the Monks. And the Sprint Center fans are on their feet. Because that's the type of effort they like to see here in this city from all of their sports teams. Floater inside, Ellis can't get the and one opportunity, but Bledsoe reaching in there. I know he wanted to keep playing defense, but he kind of just needed to let that one go. Because even if it's a floater, it's not necessarily a guarantee. First shot goes up and in, 19 points for Ellis. Ellis misses the second one. So instead of conceding two points, Bledsoe able to force Ellis to the line and he only gets one. Parsons driving inside, goes up and in. And he's all right, folks. Hit the deck there a little bit. Still playing some tough D here against Tyreek Evans. Can he make the stop? And he can't. Gets it to Ellis in the front court, does Evans. Clock running down. Here's Ellis. Kicks it over Johnson. Facing up Dang. And stolen by Dang. So Johnson held on to the ball too long. Dang saw an opportunity and took it. 2.22 left in the fourth. Bledsoe, ball down low underneath, dang, goes up, draws the foul. So first personal here on Evans, third team on Kansas City. And it's a nine point game here. Dang can close the gap with 2.10 left in the fourth quarter. First shot up and in, down to an eight point game. Second shot up and in, down to a seven point game. So the Bulldogs trying to make a furious comeback here before it's too late. They've really been knocking at the door until the Monks end up doing something like hitting a key shot 
And then they end up right back where they started. And what a sequence there. And that ends with an Evans denial. It was a dangerous cross-court pass. Ended up in the hands of London. You thought the Bulldogs going to have a shot at closing the gap even more, but Tyreek Evans had other things in mind, and he sends that ball sailing. London will have the ball coming out of the timeout. 154 left in the fourth quarter. Dang inbounding on the baseline. Here's Chandler Parsons back outside to Bledsoe. Bang on the wing. Down low, Freeland. And loses it. Stolen by Garnett. Ellis with the ball. Getting fancy against Freeland. Gets it past Freeland, lays it up and in. Ellis had to reach for that one, but he got it. Ninety-seven, eighty-eight. Kansas City hanging on to the lead here. If London doesn't score instantly, and they do. I was going to say, if they don't score instantly, it might be curtains for them, but it's a six-point game now off the three-pointer by Chandler Parsons. Now they need a defensive stop and another key shot. Ball to Evans. Hanging on here. London going to try to stop him. Kicks it back out. Johnson shoots it over two Bulldogs. One of them clipped it, and now the Bulldogs have possession. Luol Deng, 20 points, by far the most he's had all season. And off the Bulldogs miss, what seemed like a sure layup. They have to intentionally foul with 39.2 seconds left in the fourth. Still a chance, however. Into the front court. And a backcourt violation as Garnett tried to escape the free throws. If he just held the ball, he would have been intentionally fouled. But instead, he tried to rush it to Monte. And Monte wasn't across the line yet. So now here's London with an opportunity. Can they get the three? Bledsoe cutting inside. Gets it to Freeland. And the foul drawn. That's on Dallenbear. His third. And London going to call a timeout. Stuart Gibbs going to try to draw up something here to see if he can get his team back into it with 28 and 3 tenths of a second left in the fourth. London down by six on the road. Kansas City looking for their first home win of the season as they were unable to take advantage against Lost or Lehigh Valley. London looking for their first win of the season, period. Don't want to go into the next week 0-3. Long shot by Miritich, no good. Pulled down by Evans, and he's intentionally fouled. And as long as Evans can hit these free throws, that should be ball game. Shot goes in, and that could pretty much be it here. 21.9 seconds on the clock, and everybody is coming out except Tyreek, who has to shoot his second set of free throws. So from the way it's looking here, Kansas City will get the victory, move to 2-1, and one, and that should make for easy standings in the Eastern Conference. you got a team with three wins, a team with two wins, presumably a team with one win, and a team in London with... What will look like none, but Andetta Kumbo will miss the three, and yeah, it looks like that'll be a wrap. Over in the Western Conference, they got two 2-1 two and one teams and two 1-2 and two teams. So three weeks in here on a weekly schedule, and everything's looking symmetrical. It's the Kansas City Monks 
win 98-91 to get their first home win of the season over the London Bulldogs. The Bulldogs now 0-3 heading into the interconference schedule. Glad that you could join us here for week three of CBL action. I'm Raymond Sims. Have a good one, everyone.